Hi Girl Scouts, I'm Sue. I'm from Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Southeast. I'm the director of the Girl Scout Leadership Experience, which means that I lead an amazing team of women that work really hard to provide a variety of program opportunities for girls where I live. Our council, Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Southeast, is located in the state of Wisconsin in the southeast corner of the state. Wherever you're joining me from, welcome. I'm going to help you earn your Tula petal. Tula is a tall, beautiful flower with red petals and bright green leaves. Tula stands for being courageous and strong. Earning the Tula petal will take you about 30 to 45 minutes and you'll need some drawing paper. You'll also need something to draw with like crayons, markers, or paint. I'm going to share Tula's story with you and then we're going to do three activities where you'll think about ways to be courageous and strong, just like Tula the Tulip. You might remember courageous and strong is one of the lines of the Girl Scout Law. So let's start by saying the Girl Scout Law together. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great job, now let's read Tula's story. Tula's story, standing up for Darla. Ring, ring, ring. The morning bell had just rung at Petal Elementary School. It was time for recess. The flower friends headed outside to the playground. Who wants to play hopscotch? Tula the Tulip asked the flower friends. I do, Zinni replied. Me too, Jerry added. The flower friends ran over to the hopscotch board. You go first, Tula, Jerry said. Okay, Zinni said. Ready, set, hop. Giggling as they took turns, the flower friends began to play. Hop, hop, hop. Then Tula noticed some dandelions playing kickball nearby. A few of them were teasing Darla, one of the smaller dandelions. Tula didn't like to see anyone treated unkindly. Sh I should tell them to stop, she thought, but what if they start being mean to me? Maybe I should pretend I didn't see anything. Then Tula saw a tear trickle down Darla's face. I have to say something, she thought. Even if I'm a little scared, I know I can act with courage. She marched over to the dandelions. Hey everyone, Tula said, I can see that Darla is sad. How about if everyone plays together? You can't tell us what to do, one of the dandelions said. Yeah, another one chimed in. Tula knew she didn't have to fix this by herself, so she turned to go find an adult. But the school principal, Miss Evergreen, had walked over. She had overheard everything that Tula and the dandelions had said. Tula's right, Miss Evergreen said. Remember, teasing hurts people's feelings. The dandelions hung their heads. We're sorry, Darla, the dandelion said. Do you and Tula and your friends want to play kickball with us? Sure, Darla replied. That would be fun. Tula went back to Jerry and Zinni and told them that the dandelions had invited them to play kickball. That sounds great, Jerry said. We're glad you were courageous and strong enough to ask the dandelions to stop teasing Darla. Maybe we'll make some new friends because of it. The end. Now that we're done reading Tula's story, we're going to do three activities to earn your Tula petal. Continue to watch this video to hear the directions on the three activities. And feel free to pause the video in between each activity if you would like. For the first activity, I want you to find someone in your family that you can talk to about Tula's story and then try to answer these three questions. When did Tula show that she was courageous and strong? Here's the second question. How did the rest of the dandelions feel after Tula and Miss Evergreen asked them to stop teasing Darla? And the last question. How did Darla feel when Tula asked the dandelions to stop teasing her? For the second activity, ask a family member or trusted adult to tell you a story about a woman who is courageous and strong. Then make a piece of art by drawing a picture of the woman you learned about. 
show your picture to a friend or family member and tell them about her. When I did this activity, I learned about Amelia Earhart, who became the first woman to fly alone across the Atlantic Ocean. Here's the picture I drew of her and her airplane. Finally, for the third activity, you're going to practice being courageous and strong. And there's lots of different ways that you can act like Tula. Try it out by choosing and doing one of these three options. Your first option is to draw a picture or make a collage of an animal that you think is courageous and strong. And put it somewhere where you will see it every day to remind you of how you'd like to act. The second option is to learn a song that makes you feel courageous and strong. Sing it every morning for a week or teach it to your family or daisy friends and have a sing along. And your last option to complete this third step is to find a person who is courageous and strong, either in real life or in a book or a movie or a TV show that you've seen. Tell your family about that person and why you think that they are courageous and strong. Congratulations, you've just earned your Tula pedal. Did you like the story of Tula and the activities that you did? What are some ways that you can be courageous and strong at home and at school? Now, when you say the Girl Scout Law, you'll know exactly what the courageous and strong line means. Be sure to check out the Girl Scouts at Home webpage for other fun activities. And for even more ideas, you can visit the Girl Scout shop at girlscouts.org or reach out to your local Girl Scout council, troop leader, or supportive adult. Thank you so much for learning about Tula with me and being courageous and strong. We'll see you next time.